Welcome back, people of the internet, to the Celtic Empire in Victoria 2. Last session we had a North German Empire or Federation form. So yeah. But they've been at war for like six years and all of their all of their shit was cancelled. I mean all of their um truces were cancelled. So I think they're still gonna have a truce with like France. Um, France, Russia, Scandinavia. Okay, so they've still got truces with bunches of people. Never mind. I thought maybe it switched their truce off when uh, that happened. Apparently not. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so we might see some strife up here. Um, I'm not sure I really care. Um, but all, no all the, the North German Federation needs to do to get... Um, to get uh, in um, to form Germany is to sphere Bavaria here, as far as I know. Um, so that's interesting. We got some Jacobite rebels here in Scandinavia, so that weakens their little alliance block here. Now, if you remember, Lithuania has uh, claims on Brest here, or at least had it at the beginning. Um, so, uh, North Germany's potentially got allies in pretty much the entire, entire Europe. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, my relationship with Rome have dropped for some reason. So, I'm gonna start working on them again. I've also started, uh, try, starting to sphere Sakim here. Um, and I'm gonna lower my relations with everyone else to try to get one of those colonial claims and basically reduce my uh, infamy to um, probably declare war on the Turkish Caliphate. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I'll be back when that happens and uh, when I go to p appoint my next party I'll probably put the conservatives into power because uh, I don't want one party in power for too long as bad things happen as we saw now we're in absolute monarchy which sucks. Um, for Colonial stuff it sucks. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back when something else happens. Well, it looks like Austria-Hungary has immediately declared war on uh, North German Federation. Hmm. Do I want to help them? As far as the game's concerned, I actually do hate them. Um, I have a minus 70 relations with them. So I could, um, well, pretty much the only acceptable war goal I could pursue is probably a release uh, thing. Hmm. No, I don't think I want to be messing around in Europe. Uh, the worst thing that could happen is that they get this part of the North German Federation. Um, well, the worst thing that could happen is they overrun the whole thing. But then again, Austria becoming Germany is pretty much six one half dozen the other to me. Um, we'll see. If Rome gets involved, we might. Rome and Austria have had some spats in the past. And they do have to close this gap here, eventually. Which they will do. Uh, presumably. <laughs> um, and if Russia gets involved, I don't really want to mess with it. Yeah. So we'll just leave Germany to the wolves here. Well, obviously I wasn't planning to do anything to it, but uh, I had the option of doing that. Um, eventually I'll be, you know, screwing around with people like that. Trolling them a bit. Let's move our armies to the border here. I do kind of like how you don't have to have armies standing around in, in provinces waiting for um, rebellions to go down and stuff. It's nice. Okay, this army's too big to put somewhere else. Let's find a place I could put it. Agra? Okay. So you find a different home. You go here. Okay. Uh, just pretty much just trying to cover our bases here. 
keep it as much in place as we can. But I'm pretty much going to ignore Europe and basically check in and see what happens every now and again. Unless Rome gets involved. And then I'll do something. Or France. Or something. We have discovered Frederick Engels. So, more gummy stuff. Um. Whatever. <laughs> as with before, I'm kind of alternating between doing the really bad one and the really good one uh, to kind of balance out what I'm doing. Either way, this is bad, so. I think the, the one I did last time was the 5%, so, yeah. Oh, and because I've been staring at the, the, the party screen, um, at the the suggestion of uh, one of uh, the viewers, I changed the communist uh, policy to pluralis pluralism instead of atheism, as that, that would, an atheist cause would never really... <laughs> uh, gain any traction uh, in the in the um, the Celtic uh, Empire because of our Crusader roots and, and I decided to put it as pluralism instead of moralism simply because moralism is something that's not really left uh, which is the communist is you know, far left and uh, really it's it's just basically it was like we don't care about you know the religion although religion is important we want pretty much all the workers to overthrow the oppression of the autocrats, uh, which is us. And, um, yeah, so, like, the communists from India and the communists f who are Protestant from France and the Muslim communists, pretty much just all, yeah, they all get together and have a, have a religion party. Um, so that's, that's the logic behind that. I, I did like the idea. I left the the um, socialists as secularization because it just makes sense for them. They're a more orderly kind of um, thing, so uh, yeah. Um, th so that's 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 why I did that. If if anyone ever uh, if that ever comes up, that's why it's going to be that way. Also, I put the royalists in power so we can do our next. I guess people didn't like that, uh, bad, or people weren't pissed off about that enough to actually um, want a reform, so I guess that's fine. None of the reactionaries in power for power too long, so yeah. Grievous insults! Okay, Guanji clique has uh, pissed us off, so I guess we'll take the, we'll take the cost spell. I don't know if we're actually going to do anything about it, but uh, yeah. Probably not. And Russia has indeed gotten involved. Um, so, yeah, the North, Gener uh, North German Federation is beset on all sides by enemies. Well, not all sides, but like this side, that side, this side. So. Pretty much, you know, like three sides. And they got like six. Half, half their sides. Whatever. They, they got enemies. Problems. Well, as you can see here, we have a chance to want to increase our, our thing with Scandinavia. I'm going to remove this uh, because it's not really doing anything for us. And we also can add Sakim to our sphere, so that's great. Um, apparently we're influencing a bunch of people. Um, you don't like Austria. deal with these really small podunk states, so let's try to sphere Bhutan now. No, I gotta fight Turkey for that. I don't know. We'll try. We'll try. Uh, I don't know why they're doing this, but whatever. Who cares? Okay, so we have discovered steel small arms production. So let's just build a new factory. Stuff. So that's cool. Woo! Steel steamers researched. Okay. Uh, I think they're still a bit behind on Navy. But uh, let's skip that for a little bit and research electricity. Or no, maybe assembly line. Mm. 
or we could use another national focus. Yeah, let's let's get another national focus. That's good. Oh, ho, ho, we have discovered protected cruisers. Awesome. Let's build some right now. Um, protected cruisers are basically upgraded. Uh, yeah, they're awesome. Look at that. Look at how awesome they are. Well, they're got more hull. They're ironclads. They're faster. So build tons of cruisers. You don't see me need to see me do this. I'm building tons of cruisers. <laughs> what? Uh. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> So I guess Peru has just snapped off this part of Colombia. Um, that's cool, I suppose. So we've got uh, improved shipbuilding R&D. So yeah, some good production input outputs for our shipbuilding stuff. Well, as it is wont to do, uh, we're having this socialism thing happen all over the place, and, uh, yeah. Questioning the monarchy. There's been some open questioning of the Celtic, from the, of the Celtic monarchy, with some citizens apparently behaving, believing, excuse me, the time has come to move on to a more democratic form of government. Members of the aristocracy have been upset by this talk, and have been calling the, on the government to crack down. Did crack down immediately? Um... And... All aristocrats become 10% more reactionary. All poor strata are 10% more in favor of universal voting. All middle strata, 5%. And everybody that supports liberal gains one militancy. Or we can say, it is only talk. And, uh, much worse stuff happens. Um, oddly enough, because they support, uh, liberal? rather than communist, this actually hurts the communism thing. Um, so while it may seem odd to pick this, I'm going to pick this uh, because it cuts into the communist block. Um, and while it may hurt us a little bit uh, in, in, the, in the short term, I think in the end it'll moderate the, the communist stuff. Um, and it's consciousness instead of militancy, so. Yeah. You prob it'll probably turn out better this way. I hope. I'm not an expert at maneuvering these things, but I, I'm pretty sure that that hurt the communists rather than hurting us, so. I don't know why, but apparently I have diplomacy points with Manchuko. I didn't think I was uh, trying to influence Manchuko. Let's go with Bhutan. Um, yeah, that's odd. Uh, they've also instate, reinstated their, or instated their national monarchy, or uh, absolute monarchy. So, yeah. Um, I suppose. Let's just fuck with Russia, I guess. I guess the only one I can mess with... Oh, let's do Austria. Fuck Austria. Whatever. Oh, this is kind of what I thought was going to happen. Uh, Russian Empire is going to try to acquire Northern Finland. Oddly enough, the Netherlands is going to try to get Southern Finland. So, Scandinavia probably is going to lose the entirety of Finland in this. It's possible that somebody intervenes, but I don't think anyone can. Um, well, I'm certainly not going to. Major discovery of pre-dreadnought, and that increases our stuff for ironclads a lot, which basically makes our ironclads attack better than um, our cruisers, but uh, the hull's still lower. And I think they're a bit slower, but I'm not sure. We're still building the cruisers though, because they're actually cheaper. I mean, by cheaper I mean they take less time to build. Well, Austria is certainly throwing a monkey wrench in the whole German thing. Uh, maybe they'll th they're Germany themselves. We'll see. Diplomatic mission under paradox. 
going to spell? Under siege. News reaches us from Sakin that the local ruling elites have thrown out our thrown our ambassador out of the country, and that their troops are laying siege to our embassy with apparent with apparent intent to enforce that decision. This affair is developing into an enormous loss of international face, one which can only be avoided through a declar formal declaration of war against Sakin. Sire, how should we should be sh how should we respond? Again, by Jingo, get a uh, war declaration thing. And uh, we lose all our influence, and basically we get a add sphere cost spell on on Sikkim. and we declare war on them. Uh, we could perhaps let the Sikkim dragon sleep. Now, looking at Sikkim here, Sikkim is one dinky, tiny little province with three guys in it. Fuck you. Yeah, basically trying to avoid pretty much all things that kill a bunch of people. I'm trying to be a nice guy. Um, oh, like this. Social reform desire. Um, well, this is probably good. <laughs> yeah, it gets, kicks all the communists out. I don't think there were any communists, but whatever. Yeah. Colombia has instituted a bourgeois dish dictatorship, um, which is basically a an anarcho-liberal dictatorship of bad attitude. So, yeah. Um, I don't really care what they do, but uh, I think we've seen one more of those. Somewhere. Oh, look at the North German Federation. They're getting raffle stopped. Um, oddly enough, Scandinavia is being left alone. We'll see. But yeah, uh, interesting government type. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, this world is crazy. Whatever. Okay, boring war is over. Whatever, dude. So we've discovered time studies. Um, it's another factory output efficiency tech. Small scale rifle making. It's good, it increases our output stuff. It's great. Well, it seems Scandinavia is out of the war with Austria Hungary. Uh, they didn't have any war terms with them, but it makes Scandinavia more a able to fight the people who are fighting them. So we'll see about that. Oh ho! It's like North German Federation's getting gotten another bite taken out of it. Um, it looks like rebels are rebelifying France in Germany. Reactionaries, okay. And Jacobites. Hmm. So that looks really weird. Uh. But no weirder than it could, I suppose. And Russia's pretty much winning against Scandinavia. And. Wow, actually. Um. Lithuania might get its, uh, well, its land back here. And Russia might get... What are they after, anyway? Brest. And they want Ostpreußen, so... Uh, this. Hmm. Okay, 17 plus 8 is 25. So, that means we have enough infamy down to declare war on these assholes. Um, yep, and I think we have any 
numerical advantage across all fronts. Uh, so let's get this on with. Get on with this. And fuck, I keep doing that. God damn it. Okay. Now for reals this time. Uh, sun. Delhi. Oh, that's nine. Why is that nine? Huh. I guess I can't do that yet. I gotta wait for one more for me. Okay. Oh no! Not democracy! Holy crap. They changed their flag. They did. Oh, now they're all democratic. Rather, HM government. Uh, since we aren't, that makes us mad, I s suppose. Whatever. Oh, look. Liberty enlightening the world. Keep ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she, with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. This the steps to liberty. People of France have presented to the American people a spectacular gift. An enormous copper statue, 151 feet tall, depicting a woman carrying a torch representing and names and named Liberty enlightening the world. The design has been carried out by one Frederick Augustine August Bartoli, and a place has been set aside for the statue on an island in New York Harbor. The statue will henceforth be known simply as the Statue of Liberty. And to celebrate, they declare war in Germany. And obviously we're not performing anything. So France is at war with Germany now. <laughs> Dude. Um... That's cool, there are bros, I guess. Okay, now for real. Da-da. Turkish Delhi region. Duh. Let's make sure they didn't put us over the limit. It may have put us over a little bit. Nope. Okay, good. Time to get rabble stumped, man. Uh, actually, you stay there. So we can might uh, encircle this army. as a distraction. They'll probably be killed for the most... Well, no, actually. They've got quite a few troops over here. They've grown a bit. Okay. That's cool. Um, and be a bit more methodical this time about how we capture the provinces here. Okay, obviously that one needs to advance too. I don't know. Wait. You... Are supposed to stay here. Okay. Um, this one though, you can. Okay. Okay. Donk. Let's leave a little bit here to try to pull off the encircle. 
Um, I don't think here it's gonna matter though. That'll get away. Let's grab something too. gets underground newspaper until 1888. Local militancy plus two. Local consciousness plus zero. Uh, plus zero point zero two. Um, for both, uh, and then point zero five for consciousness. Um, and then everybody who is an uh, aristocrat will gain point five consciousness and become more in favor for universal voting and secret ballots. And then all aristocrats will become five more. So more conservative. Um, and then, yeah. Um, I, for the most part, just letting that go. So, encirclement failed. Sorry. Oh, shit. Good thing we have zero uh, communists. That's good. get a medal. You guys are. Super army. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> run, run away, super army. <laughs> that was great. That's like... 
our super victory for the for the, the history books, man. Okay. And goes over here. Kapolotska is not fucking up too badly. I'm just picking that one because it doesn't last as long. Chase them. Okay, we could probably end this now. I think. Oh, no, not quite. Just now being able to talk about White Peace. Okay, I just want to get out of this as soon as possible because uh, a lot of this stuff uh, prevents me from doing things while I'm at war. So the sooner I can finish this war, the better, and the fewer guys I'll lose in the long run. I should still win this battle even if I'm taking uh, more casualties. Unless I'm taking twice as many casualties, holy crap. Okay, no, no, battle the demons out, okay. Should I chase him? No! Run! Captured Delhi, they'll probably. Uh, maybe not. I'm just gonna keep checking every time I do something. 